my Lords and members of the House of Commons. My Government will govern in service to the country. My Government's legislative programme will be mission-led and based upon the principles of security, fairness and opportunity for all. Stability will be the cornerstone of my Government's economic policy. And every decision will be consistent with its fiscal rules. It will legislate to ensure that all significant tax and spending changes are subject to an independent assessment by the Office for Budget Responsibility. Bills will be brought forward to strengthen audit and corporate governance alongside pension investment. Securing economic growth will be a fundamental mission. My Government will seek a new partnership with both business and working people and help the country move on from the recent cost of living challenges by prioritising wealth creation for all communities. My Ministers will establish an Industrial Strategy Council. It is my Government's objective to see rising living standards in all nations and regions in the United Kingdom. My Ministers will get Britain building, including through planning reform, as they seek to accelerate the delivery of high-quality infrastructure and housing. They will also pursue sustainable growth by encouraging investment in industry, skills and new technologies. My Government is committed to making work pay and will legislate to introduce a new deal for working people to ban exploitative practices and enhance employment rights. It will seek to establish the appropriate legislation to place requirements on those working to develop the most powerful artificial intelligence models. My Government believes that greater devolution of decision-making is at the heart of a modern dynamic economy and is a key driver of economic growth, and my Ministers will introduce an English devolution bill. Legislation will be introduced to give new powers to Metro mayors and combined authorities. This will support local growth plans that bring economic benefit to communities. A bill will be introduced to allow local leaders to take control of their local bus services. My Ministers will bring forward legislation to improve the railways by reforming rail franchising, establishing Great British Railways and bringing train operators into public ownership. Taken together, these policies will enhance Britain's position as a leading industrial nation and enable the country to take advantage of new opportunities that can promote growth and wealth creation. My Government recognises the urgency of the global climate challenge and the new job opportunities that can come from leading the development of the technologies of the future. It is committed to a clean energy transition which will lower energy bills for consumers over time. A bill will be introduced to set up Great British Energy, a publicly owned clean power company headquartered in Scotland, which will help accelerate investment in renewable energy such as offshore wind. Legislation will be brought forward to help the country achieve energy independence and unlock investment in energy infrastructure. A bill will be introduced to support sustainable aviation fuel production. My Government recognises the need to improve water quality and a bill will be introduced to strengthen the powers of the water regulator. My Government will seek to strengthen the border and make streets safer. A bill will be introduced to modernise the asylum and immigration system, establishing a new border security command and delivering enhanced counter-terror powers to tackle organised immigration crime. 
Legislation will be brought forward to strengthen community policing, give the police greater powers to deal with antisocial behaviour and strengthen support for victims. Measures will be introduced to improve the safety and security of public venues and help keep the British public safe from terrorism. My government will bring forward plans to halve violence against women and girls. My ministers will seek to raise educational standards and break down barriers to opportunity. Action will be taken to get people back in employment following the impact of the pandemic. A bill will be introduced to raise standards in education and promote children's well-being. <laughs> Measures will be brought forward to remove the exemption from value-added tax for private school fees, which will enable the funding of 6,500 new teachers. My government will establish Skills England, which will have a new partnership with employers at its heart, and my ministers will reform the apprenticeship levy. Legislation will be introduced to give greater rights and protections to people renting their homes, including ending no-fault evictions and reforming grounds for possession. Draft legislation will be published on leasehold and commonhold reform. A bill will be introduced to establish an independent football regulator to ensure greater sustainability in the game and strengthen protections for fans. My government will improve the National Health Service as a service for all, providing care on the basis of need, regardless of the ability to pay. It will seek to reduce the waiting times, focus on prevention, and improve mental health provision for young people. It will ensure mental health is given the same attention and focus as physical health. My ministers will legislate to modernise the Mental Health Act so it is fit for the 21st century. A bill will be introduced to progressively increase the age at which people can buy cigarettes and impose limits on the sale and marketing of vapes. My ministers will also legislate to restrict advertising of junk food to children, along with the sale of high caffeine energy drinks to children. A draft bill will be brought forward to ban conversion practices. My government will take steps to help rebuild trust and foster respect. Legislation will be brought forward to introduce a duty of candour for public servants. A bill will be introduced to establish a statutory armed forces commissioner to act as a strong, independent champion for our gallant armed forces and their families. Legislation on race equality will be published in draft to enshrine the full right to equal pay in law. My government will strengthen the work, its work with the devolved governments in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland so that the best outcomes possible are delivered for citizens across the United Kingdom. My ministers will establish a new council of the nations and regions to renew opportunities for the Prime Minister, heads of devolved governments and mayors of combined authorities to collaborate with each other. My government will continue to support the political institutions and devolved government in Northern Ireland. In consultation with all parties, measures will be brought forward to begin the process of repealing and replacing the Northern Ireland Troubles Legacy and Reconciliation Act 2023. Measures to modernise the Constitution will be introduced, including House of Lords reform to remove the right of hereditary peers to sit and vote in the Lords. My ministers will strengthen 
the integrity of elections and encourage wide participation in the democratic process. The government will propose a modernization committee of the House of Commons, which will be tasked with driving up standards, improving work practices, and reforming procedures. My government will ensure a strong defense based on the North Atlantic Treaty Organization's common values of individual liberty, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Its commitment to NATO will remain unshakable. It will maintain a strong armed forces, including the nuclear deterrent. To ensure that the United Kingdom's defense capabilities are matched to the changing nature of global strategic threats, my government will conduct a strategic defense review. My government will continue to give its full support to Ukraine and its people, and it will endeavor to play a leading role in providing Ukraine with a clear path to NATO membership. My government will seek to reset the relationship with European partners and work to improve the United Kingdom's trade and investment relationship with the European Union. My ministers will seek a new security pact to strengthen cooperation on the mutual threats faced by the United Kingdom and the European Union. My government will play its part in trying to secure long-term peace and security in the Middle East. It is committed to a two-state solution with a safe and secure Israel alongside a viable and sovereign Palestinian state. Later this week, my government will host the European political community meeting at Blenheim Palace. The Queen and I look forward to our visit to Samoa alongside the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in October and our visit to Australia. Members of the House of Commons, estimates for the public services will be laid before you. My Lords and members of the House of Commons, other measures will be laid before you. I pray that the blessing of Almighty God may rest upon your councils. <clears throat>